Hi, I'm Chuck. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will install Kali Linux VM on a virtual box running on a MacBook. We are going to use Kali Linux VDI file for the installation. This is the fastest and easiest way to install Kali. As you may already know, Kali comes preloaded with many security tools that can be used for ethical hacking and digital forensics. Depending on the tools you plan to run on Kali, these are the items we need for the installation, as well as the minimum system requirements. We need to have installed VirtualBox on our MacBook or PC, and then install Kali Linux VM on the VirtualBox. In case you haven't installed VirtualBox, I have another video for installation of VirtualBox on MacBook. Check it out if you need to. I'll add the link to the description section. Before we dive right in, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share this video. Let's get started. On Kali.org, click on the download link and you will be taken to the download page. There are multiple options here, but we are interested in virtual machines. So I will click on virtual machines. I am using a 64-bit device, so I will stay on this 64-bit tab. And then click on virtual box here to download Kali image for virtual box. Let's wait for the download to complete. The download is now complete, so I will minimize the browser and navigate to the folder where the file was downloaded to on my MacBook. I will double click on the file to extract its content. Let's give it a moment to complete the extraction. The extraction is now complete. If I decompose this new folder, you can see two files in the .vbox and .vdi files. We need to add the VDI file to VirtualBox using VBox file. I will show you how to do it. I will launch VirtualBox and click on Tools section of the VirtualBox manager and then click Add button. You need to navigate to the folder where the extracted files were saved. For me, they are in this folder. I will click on VBox file and click Open. This is our new Kali Linux VM. You can see details about the new Kali Linux VM including the pre-configured username and password. On this page, you can click on any field of your choice and change the value. For example, I can click on general section and make the name shorter and click OK to save the change. Our new Kali Linux VM is now ready to be powered on. To power on the VM, I will make sure the VM is selected on the left pane here and click on the start button. Kali machine is booting up. I will close this pop-up. We are at the login screen. I will type in the default username which is Kali and the default password which is Kali and click on login. We are in. The installation looks good. I will click here to go full screen and I will click switch button. If I click on Kali menu on the top left corner, you can see a lot of ethical hacking and digital forensic tools that are pre-installed on the system, starting with information gathering. You can see some popular tools like Nmap. You can also see some vulnerability analysis tools, web application analysis tools, database assessment tools, password cracking tools, wireless attack tools, and many more. I will click on Terminal up here and expand the window. I will use Ctrl, Shift, and plus sign key combination to zoom in. Let's use IP address command to see IP information. We can also verify internet connectivity by pinging google.com. Sure enough, it's responding. I can as well use Firefox to verify internet connectivity. I'll click on Firefox icon at the top left corner. Let's browse to facebook.com. This also confirms we have internet connectivity. We can use Kali to perform some ethical hacking demos. Let me know in the comment section which demo you would like to see. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it informative. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and click the like button. Also press the bell icon to never miss any of my new videos. If you have any questions or comments, please enter them in the comment section below.